The Spyglass, perhaps one of the most essential tools in any survivor's belt. And in this guide, I'm gonna go over all the options a player has when it comes to establishing a wild creature's stats. And I'm gonna go over perhaps my favorite mod of them all, the awesome Spyglass. I'm sure many of us are all aware at this point that the vanilla Spyglass can be frustrating to use. Sometimes focusing on a creature can take a few attempts and it can be frustrating to focus on a target that you're looking at. At level 25, the magnifying glass can be unlocked and this tool is used to assess a creature's health and torpidity. It's particularly useful for taming the Kakanos and establishing how close a creature is to being knocked out. Next up, we have the Scout Drone, available on Extinction and crafted at any city terminal. It can do a little reconnaissance, but it doesn't tell you much about the wild creatures. And apart from aggravating creatures out of your way or into a trap, it's not one of the best tools to use. On Genesis part one and two, we was introduced to HLNA and pressing H will send her off to bring up the wild stats of a creature. And it is useful to find out whether a creature will be worth taming or not. And our last option for reconnaissance is the Tech Binoculars, available again on Genesis Part 1 and 2 via Loot Crates, but I must admit I'm yet to find a pair myself in any drop. It's much better at being able to focus on a target rather than the Spyglass, and it does have an option for night vision. Even when I did my test to open over 100 Loot Crates, we never actually did find a pair of the Tech Binoculars, so do let me know in the comments if you've ever actually found a pair yourself. Which leads me into the awesome Spyglass and why it's one of my favourite mods. Using a combination of all the previous tools I've just mentioned with a few extra options. So holding Alt and S will bring up this menu in game so there's no need to play around with any of these options in the INI file. You can switch all of this stuff off in game. And just for the sake of this guide, I'm going to switch everything off so we can go over everything the awesome Spyglass has to offer. And as you can see, we've now brought up some outlines of the wild creatures out there. This is an option that's available if you've got the tech helmet. And I personally find this one a little bit overpowered. So we switch this one off for the community on our servers. But it can be helpful for admins if they're kind enough to perhaps help somebody find their lost tames or something perhaps we'd switch it on for that but for the most part that option is pretty much disabled uh, another thing is we've got a loot crate just coming down here and you can see just pointing our crosshair at the loot crate we can already see what's in that loot crate before it even lands and again find that one a little bit overpowered but again the spyglass is fully customizable and it's down to the server um, which server you're playing on as to which settings you have so you can switch all of this stuff on and off pretty easy again bringing up the alt and s and you'll bring up the menu here and we'll just show you the admin settings if you're actually an admin on the server you can switch all of this stuff off so people can't mess around with things you don't want them to have so allow loot crate targeting and perhaps allowing the outline is the most overpowered one. So we tend to switch all of this stuff off on the server. We do keep the GPS thing on just in case somebody gets lost on a server and they can shout out their location. Uh, I tend to have it switched off myself though. I'm pretty good at knowing where I am on a map as you slowly get to learn these things. But again, it's entirely down to the server itself as to what options can be left on and left off. Uh, I just think the outline should really be reserved for anybody who's got tech stuff and uh, it's a little bit overpowered for the spyglass but it's all fully customizable and anybody who has this can just bring up this menu and switch on the settings they want as they want them. The other option it has here is to bring up what a creature needs to tame out. As you can see the simple kibble is required for the trike there. We can turn the food list on and off. I tend to find you have too many of these options on and it can clutter up your UI a little bit so I don't tend to have that one off and uh, I'm pretty good at knowing what it is the preferred kibble is for a creature at this point in the game without needing to refer to the wiki but it is there for new players and you can switch it on and off. 
Now you just notice there that we've got some colours. We've got 33 and 34 on that Bronto in black, so they're just bringing up the actual numbers of the colours for creatures, and that's pretty useful for anybody who wants to do a little bit of breeding. Just to see if we can find anything else there. That Gallimimus had a couple of green 26s, so if you're hunting around for Pacific colours on creatures, that one's really useful, all of them bars at the top there. Just need to find a decent level creature. Okay, level 60 Spino, 45 Rex, that's not so great. Another Rex over here, so 120 Rex. And now this is a great example. As you can see, it's got 19 points in oxygen, 19 points in weight. So I already know before we even knock that creature out, that it's likely gonna have a really high oxygen stat. If we get 100% tame and effectiveness, that's an extra 74 levels that are going to be distributed upon taming it. And I can pretty much guarantee that that one would be an oxygen heavy Rex. It might come out with a reasonable weight stat, but it's definitely going to come out with a very poor health stat because it's only got 12 points in health. Now, I know a few of you might be thinking, well, that's quite overpowered that, but it is effectively no different to HLNA and it's just really quite a nice quality of life option and something i don't like to live without in fact as you, most of you know if you've been following my channel ooh, just get rid of these titan bowers here that uh, we've completed the game and we go through the game on vanilla settings with no mods but if there is one mod i miss it is the awesome spyglass it really is quite useful so a nice over raptor there, one, two, five, some good points in it. And oh, that Mevapificus there has got 23 points in weight, 26 wild points in speed. That would be worth taming. So, of course, the higher the level, the more likely it is to be worth taming. But you can actually assess whether a creature is going to be worth taming just by having a look at the wild points. And it's not an exact science, but it does end up being a little bit of a time saver so that's the awesome spyglass definitely one of the mods i dearly miss when we're playing our unmodded series on complete arc and one that i definitely recommend for anybody running a community server again a few of the options you can find on the spyglass are a little bit overpowered but when you weigh it up with all of the options that you get in the vanilla game it's a really useful mod so let me know down in the comments what you thought of that one and until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.